there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to welcome you to yet another installment of FIFA Wonder Kids versus their first overalls. It's been a while since I did the first one of these but I've always wanted to do a second one, it's something for some reason that I find quite interesting and you guys seem to like it as well. Gone through the comments section, taking a look at some of the players that you wanted me to check out in their first debut edition on FIFA career mode and I'll be comparing them to how they are now. If you go on to enjoy the video, slap a like on it and of course subscribe subscribe if you are new to the channel it's the big red button under the video and it massively massively helps me out as we push towards 100k right now moving on though to the first player we've got Thomas Lamar currently of Atletico Madrid obviously had a spell at Monaco before his transfer over to La Liga and started his career with SM Khan over in France currently 22 years of age 83 rated has a potential to grow to 89 in career mode four star skill moves can play on both wings and as an attacking mid very sought after and has a very bright future ahead of him, but FIFA never really always predicted that sort of scenario for him. Back all the way on FIFA 13, he had a starting overall of 56 and a potential of just 68. 68! They didn't even expect him to get out of the second tier of French football, I don't think. But back then, he was also a centre mid as well. So EA haven't really always predicted bright things for him. Marcus Rashford is slightly different. He burst onto the scene in a much more dramatic manner than Thomas Lamar, who was just sort of building up and building up, making moves here and there. Marcus Rashford played a game and scored. Burst onto the scene in the Europa League. Has obviously got a potential of 89 now. Starts at 81 whilst playing for Manchester United as a striker and as a left winger. Back though on FIFA 16, he never really always had the wonder kid potential. His first potential on career mode was actually only 77, which although isn't absolutely horrendous, isn't exactly, again, as I mentioned, that wonder kid status that he currently has and that he had shortly after that. His first overall as well on FIFA career mode back on FIFA 16 was only 59 as well. Since then, obviously, things have got a lot better for him. Now, Yuri Tielemon is someone who's been around for a while as far as FIFA career mode fans are concerned. This guy was really the face of FIFA 15 career mode had a potential of I think 90 at that point but he actually made his debut on FIFA 14 since then he's left Anderlecht joined Monaco he's now 79 rated uh, obviously as a centre mid and has a potential to grow to 88 on career mode but back then when he made his debut he was 69 rated and a potential to grow to 85 so still pretty high he's then obviously got into the 90s in potential and then dropped down a little bit after a slightly difficult spell uh, or start to his career sorry at Monaco but EA have always predicted him to be quite a decent player yeah. Presnel Kimpembe, on the other hand, not so much. The recent World Cup winner is obviously now playing for Paris Saint-Germain. 83 overall has potential to grow to 89 in career mode and hence become one of the best centre-backs and general defenders in the entirety of the game mode. However, it's not always been the case. The Frenchman wasn't even registered as being French back when he made his debut on FIFA career mode. He was actually representing DR Congo and back then on FIFA 15, he had a starting overall of 59 and a potential of over only 72 is enough to make a career out of when you think about it you know he'd probably just about be you know top of league der quality or bottom of league unquality but nowhere near the heights that you expect from him now and the the heights that the world of football expects from him as well Patrick Coutrone is similar to Marcus Rashford in the sense that he jumped on the scene by scoring a lorry load of goals in a very quick time period the Milan striker is now currently 77 rated 20 years of age and with the potential to grow to 89 he made his debut in FIFA career mode all the way back on, I say all the way back on, it was literally a couple of years ago, on FIFA 17, he's more, he's one of the more recent uh, Wonder Kids actually in terms of making his debut on a game, he was 65 overall back then, and the same as Marcus Rashford actually, had a first potential of 77, that of course has since grown by 12, as we realise just how much of a clinical finisher he is over in Italy. Jadon Sancho is the most recent of the Wonder Kids in terms of his addition to FIFA career mode, he made his debut only on FIFA 18, so only a year ago did we first first see Jadon Sancho burst onto the scene. Since then, he's obviously signed for Borussia Dortmund. He's now 75 rated and has potential to grow to 89 on current career mode. But back on FIFA 18, his first overall was only 63. He's obviously grown by 12 from that. And he had a potential of 86. So still very high, in fairness. EA have always known he was going to be good after making the jump from Manchester City uh, in a slightly unusual circumstance over to the Bundesliga. Not many English youngsters find themselves abroad these days.
these days, but Jaden Sancho's made it work. He's been thriving, and hence he's gone up in potential even further. Nicolas Sula is another German-based player, this time actually from Germany. 84 rated, currently playing for Bayern Munich, and has the highest potential out of anyone in this video, being 90. He's the only remaining 90 potential player we haven't looked at, actually. Hasn't always played for Bayern, but he has been someone very solid as a centre-back for recent FIFAs. However, I say recent FIFAs because in the past FIFAs, on FIFA 13, namely, his potential was absolutely shocking. He started at 58 overall and had potential to grow by 10 to 68. Bear in mind his current potential is 90. That is massive in terms of a difference. He had 68 potential back in his days at Hoffenheim, which is mental to think about because he's been such a solid centre-back for quite a few years now, like a Jonathan Tarr, etc. So weird to think, him, think of him as such a bad player. Staying with a German vibe, we've got Kai Havertz now, who made a name for himself by missing a European game due to school exams. Obviously, he made his debut when he was so young. He was one of the youngest players, I think, ever to, to turn out in a Champions League, if not the youngest. He made his debut on FIFA back on FIFA 17 career mode, had a potential to grow to 78 from a starting overall of just 57. Since then obviously he's grown massively and now has a potential to get to 89 in FIFA career mode. But back then, back when he was making a name for himself as a 16 year old, obviously not the highest of potentials whatsoever. Argentinian winger Ezekiel Barco next up and the current MLS wonder kid is now 74 rated, 19 years of age and playing for Atlanta United. But when he first made his debut in FIFA career mode, who's playing back in his homeland of Argentina for Independiente. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but in it's whatever the circumstance, he was playing for them and he started at 60 overall and 76 rating. Now, I believe it was FIFA 18 where he became an actual wonder kid. Nobody had really heard of him before that. He just suddenly burst onto the scene properly. But interesting to see that he was kind of very average, actually, at first. Not one of those players that had a ridiculous potential from the get-go. Uh, Dombele from Olympic League. Leon, I had a complete brain meltdown just then, but from Olympic Leon is next up, 80 rated Frenchman, absolute animal, an all-rounder on current career mode, and so certainly someone I would suggest trying out, the 21 year old from France, it's another French wonder kid, but it's not always been that way. Back when he was playing for Amiens, before he made the jump to Lyon, he just had a potential of 67. 67! That's ridiculous, that's not even really good enough to, that's like League One quality. And now people are expecting him to be one of the best box-to-box -box midfielders in the world, and he started at 51 rating with a 67 potential. EA clearly not having that much confidence in him from the get-go. We've got Malcolm next up, the man who's had a slightly difficult time, uh, you know, getting to grips with La Liga maybe in the pressure of being at Barcelona. He's doing better than Usman Dembele at the moment, but the Brazilian playing for Barca, 82 rated, 21 years of age, ridiculous potential of 89. But when he first made his debut in career mode, back when he was playing for Corinthians actually, in his homeland, he had a potential of 80 and a starting overall of 63. This was back on FIFA 14, so not a bad potential to be honest with you. That's actually pretty high. That's, uh, you know, that's pretty promising, but obviously I think that's what is that? It's, that? it's not exciting prospect, it's showing great potential on FIFA career mode, but obviously since then he's jumped up into being an absolute wonder kid. Anthony Martial is it another one that EA actually predicted to be good really from the outset. Martial obviously plays for Manchester United now, he's 83 rated and has a potential to grow to 89 as the 22 year old forward and winger. He's obviously had a stint at Monaco before joining Manchester United, but he actually started his career mode journey with Olympic Lyon, who we've seen obviously already in this video, and back when he first joined in the scene. He was 58 rated, so not that high, but did actually have a, pot a potential sorry, to grow to 84. I believe he was only 16 at the time, hence the massive amount of growth that he could pull off in that career mode back on FIFA 13. Seems such a long time ago when Anthony Martial was a prospect player like that. Obviously, he's still got potential to grow, will be a very good player, but it just seems like so long ago. And the final player, yet another Frenchman in this video, is Deo Pomacano, the absolute centre-back brick wall and rock from RB Leipzig, from the Bundesliga, from France. Just an absolute hero. 76 overall right now, has a potential to grow to 88, but he is yet another player who there was just absolutely no confidence in. Started off at 53 overall with potential to grow to 75 on FIFA 16. Again, not ridiculously low. I think you just about sneak a Premier League starting spot somewhere like Brighton or Huddersfield with that sort of overall, but certainly not the heights that are expected of him. And obviously other Frenchmen like Presnel Kimpembe and Dombele who had 
had really no faith in them whatsoever when they were first added to career mode. It's interesting to see how these guys have changed. Obviously, they were probably always quite highly rated in their youth academy, uh, youth academies and, you know, respective youth setups and stuff, but it's interesting to see how when they were first added to career mode in FIFA, some of them were just absolute nobodies, like they were really, really average players, and since then have blossomed into now Wonder Kids. That though is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy it, then slap a like on this video, and of course subscribe if you are new to the channel. It's the big red button under the video, and as I mentioned at the start of the video, rather casually actually for what it is, but 100k is weirdly not that far away. The growth has been ridiculous recently, and I've got to say again, a massive, massive thank you to you all for that one. It's literally the best this channel has ever had, and it's, you know, it's down to you guys your absolute hero so big ups yourselves you can follow me on social media if you're new uh it's at the official fng on twitter and on insta links are down below but it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today have a great day enjoy yourselves and goodbye